burn the nails. That's why. They buried him like normal person. See photos from Raymond Dokpesi Beria. Welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. Now to the new details. Endeavor to listen to the end. There were many monarchs, dignitaries, and well-wishers present for the sombre and respectable funeral service of the late media mogul, Raymond Dokpesi. Dokpesi made significant contributions to the Nigerian media sector as the creator of Da Communications, the company that owns well-known media stations, AIT and Repa. The images from his funeral reflect the reference and respect that all in attendance displayed, capturing the heartbreaking moments of the events. I Chief Raymond Dokpesi, a 71-year-old Nigerian media mogul, mogul and the chairman of the Dark Communication, the company that owns African Independent Television, AIT, and Ray Power FM, reportedly passed away a few months ago. Sources claim that his son, Raymond Dokwesi Jr., said this in a statement. The declaration attested to the late media icon's passing. The cause the cause of his passing was kept a secret by the family. Dr. C, a leader of the People's Democratic Party (PDP), was born in Edo State, Nigeria, on October 25, 1951. He was a devoted husband, father, grandfather, and friend. In addition to being a well-known and successful businessman, media pioneer, and philanthropist, who devoted his life to serving his nation and community. Aishiv Raymond Dokwesi was also a recognized and successful businessman. Because of the difference he made in the lives of so many people, his legacy will endure. The Dokwesi family is appreciative of the love and support sent to them during this trying time. In a letter released by his son, he said, As we grieve the passing of our Patrick, we kindly ask that you keep us in your prayers and thoughts. We also beg for discretion at this time, as a family, as we grieve. The family will provide more information on the funeral arrangements as soon as possible. The statement reads, May his soul rest in peace. His death has been a great pain to the society, and a lot of Nigerians express their pains as they wished him eternal rest. Different pictures were taken during his funeral, and most of them the peace our life is vanity, regardless of what you own. I should remember Dr. C. The Chairman of that communication who passed away a few months ago was said to have been buried but that is not his funeral they have not done the funeral arrangements but you know as a Muslim he needs to be buried immediately so they had to bury him but even during that burial dignitaries we are dear, well wishers, mourners, we are dear. They knew the life is pain because they saw that he is, is a media mogul who has done a lot in the media. Is the chairman of that communication, the company that owns AIT and Ray Power FM. We know how this television and radio station has been of of importance to Nigerians, which also serve as source of employment to a lot of people. Aishi Raymond Dokpesi is a man who is intelligent, a successful businessman, someone who is well known all over the world, is a media 
pioneer and even a philanthropist who devoted his life to serving his nation and community who is always doing a business and the other and is very successful and he makes sure that he puts people on the track and now that he has gone his son Raymond Jr. has taken up the the the, the communication and he's also doing well but the passing of his father Aishi Raymond Dokbesi is a heartbreaking news and a shock to Nigeria because they do not believe that he can go anytime soon. The family even believe that he still has a lot of things to do in the country. He's a, if he's a philanthropist and those he has helped are not finding it nice again because they believe that they, they, they are, their helper has gone to rest. But he still alive. The, the work he has done is still alive and is still going on. We believe that Raymond Dokwesi Jr. will be able to extend what his father has done more than what he has done, more than what his father has done, sorry. So the Dokwesi family is actually appreciative of the love and support that was sent to them and they will actually let more information on the funeral arrangement to be known as soon as possible and we pray that it may so rest in peace. Amen. We should add death to our daily list because anybody can die at any time. And we should know that life is vanity regardless of what we have. So we should always do good at all times. Thank you for tuning in to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Thank you.